All right, so it's finally here. The greatest gladiator match in the history of mankind. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. Oh, that guy and his and his voice and his delivery. But at, le at least the battle should be fun to watch. Although we all already know who's going to win, right? If, if you're Batman. Batman v Superman is one of those eternal nerd debates like Kirk or Picard, or Enterprise vs Millennium Falcon. From my research, it seems like fanboys and girls come down on one of two sides. Either Batman would win because he plans for everything, or Superman would win because he's, well, Superman. It's true, Superman is pretty, well, super. In fact, based on the powers that he's been given in movies and comic books and TV shows, a battle with the Batman would end pretty quickly. So here are some fun ones I came up with. Superman can fly, so he could just grab a hold of Batman's foot and drag him up into the sky, out of the troposphere and through the stratosphere and past the mesosphere and onwards through the thermosphere where Batman would lose consciousness in about 15 seconds due to lack of oxygen and then all the air in his lungs would expel itself into the void of space and freeze the interior of his mouth and then he would die. But why make the trip yourself? Superman could just throw Batman up into the sky at 11 kilometers per second and his now jellified body would be passing through all those layers of atmosphere because that is fast enough to escape Earth's gravitational pull. Superman has heat vision. If he spent just 12 days charging up that heat vision, he could release a blast of energy with three gigajoules behind it, or enough to completely vaporize Batman. Maybe something like this. Oh! Or Superman can use his laser vision for something a little bit more nefarious. He could surreptitiously sneak up behind Batman and selectively laser parts of Batman's brain so that he would lose speech or motor control, or he could even uh, laser his fusiform gyrus, which is about here, uh, about here, and that would give Batman prosopagnosia or face blindness. It would render Batman incapable from telling the difference between Clark Kent and Superman forever. Or Superman can instantaneously and undetectably launch a laser pulse into Batman's eyes, locally boiling the vitreous humor, causing a shockwave and eventually blindness. Oh God, my eyes! Superman has freezing breath. He could just quickly puff that cold, cold air down into Batman's lungs when he wasn't paying attention because he's, you know, got super speed and everything, and the interior of Batman's lungs would freeze and he'd be unable to breathe and he would die. The cool part is that this is actually possible due to something called the Joule Thompson effect, which states that if you're squeezing a real gas through a small valve or opening, if it's going from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure, when it comes out on the other side, that gas is going to be chilled or get colder. That's the same reason why if you open your mouth up wide and breathe out, it's hot, and if you make it small, it's chilly. Superman is the strongest being in the DC universe. He could just throw a planet at Batman. Dad! And being the strongest thing in the DC universe, Superman could just grab a hold of Batman, like by his hair or his neck or his shirt or something, and just hold on to him until Batman died of thirst three days later. Hey, it's not the prettiest way to go, but it, it works. Or, considering that Superman can literally lift the Earth above his head if he wanted to, he could just use that percentage of his strength to crush Batman's skull instantaneously. It only takes 520 pounds. Just ask the mountain. Oh. Oh. And don't forget about super speed. Superman can go faster than the speed of light. So theoretically, he could travel back in time and, and go to the, the time when the muggers were stealing the pearls from Mrs. and Mr. Wayne and just punch through their faces and then Batman would never uh, grow up to exist. It's also why this 
famous scene works. Superman isn't flying around the Earth to somehow use momentum in the atmosphere to spin it backwards in reverse time. He is going faster than the speed of light to go back in time, which is why the planet reverses. And when you go that fast, energies get huge. Superman could just take a batarang like this and move at 99% the speed of light and release it at the Batman, and then it would do something like this. Uh, that's what would be left of spat, nothing, uh, nothingness like the interior of a soul. <laughs> Finally, Superman's X-ray vision. If Superman looked at Batman with his X-ray vision akin to a chest X-ray 5,000 times, which he could do nearly instantaneously, then he would get a dosage of radiation that would be linked to cancer. Bat cancer. But all of this is besides the point. I like the way that Batman Hush put it in the comics. Superman could crush Batman instantaneously into the pavement if he wanted to, but he won't. This is because fundamentally, deep down, there is a greater weakness to Clark Kent than kryptonite. It's that he is a good person, and Bruce Wayne is not. That's the logical stalemate we have here. Superman could destroy Batman easily, but he won't. And Batman can never beat, realistically, Superman, but he will. That's why the real winner of Batman v Superman is going to be us, the audience, because the story kind of demands it. Unless it sucks, then Superman could just throw all copies of the film into the sun. <laughs> because science! Thank you so much for watching. You know, actually Batman was pretty brutal. Uh, you can't just hit that many people in the face, possibly knocking out their morphine uh, canisters from the face, um, and, and you give most people brain damage. You can't just knock someone unconscious and they get up and like, oh, I guess I'll just go do more bad guy stuff. It, uh, you know, I have to go to a neurologist and you have to get appointments, and do you know how hard it is to find a neurologist in Gotham? It's difficult. Come on, Bruce, even for you, that's a bit cold. So Superman's planet is like, you know, thousands of light years away, right? And in between us and his planet, there's gotta be billions of other planets. What are the chances that uh, one, a planet that far away from us has the same evolutionary processes that lead to human looking things? Not not human-like, not just humanoid, but indistinguishable from people except that they have like sweet superpowers and when they get here. Uh, no chance. And what, what, on top of that, what are the chances that that alien race has an alphabet or, or a way of speaking symbols that when he gets to Earth, someone's like, oh, is, is that, that's, that means this S, that means hope on my planet. And what are the chances of that meaning hope and also being a letter in our alphabet? Zero. The, the universe is not big enough to have enough chances for that to happen. Superman. <laughs>